of uh, point that is huge, especially on the on this kind of court. Sakari misses long, and Sabalenka has a two-love start. Well, I mean, I, you know, when you double fault down in the bottom of the net. Sakari, how smart was that lob? Love and what a great get here. And that was uh, another one, incredible get, just putting a racket wherever she. Good traction, she's got quick feet, and Maria Sakari. Already made a decision of where she was going and went all the way. Didn't really care what Sabalenka was going to do. And that slide, almost like sliding on the clay courts. Well done. To finally get on the scoreboard. <laughs> a big flat ball from Sabalenka saves break point number four. There. Needing 16 points, saving four break opportunities for Sakri. And things continue to go a wire. Or awry, mind you, for Sakari. Uh, too many and too often, and there are only three, but they come in costly times for Maria Sakari, and she is shut out in a set for the first time this year, as it's all Arena Sabalenka to begin for the Bacala group in singles match two on night one. She tries to join Pegula atop the Bacala group. And 8-0 well, it is sorry. for Arena Sabalenka. Give credit, of course, the credit is due, and there's really not much that Sakura has, has been doing. Yeah, and you're also got to remember this is a round robin format. This is just one match. I mean, why not lay down some markers for other things, work on some other aspects? I hope she doesn't go back to that place because this is a tough one here to swallow. Consistency of Sabalenka in this point and then being able to finish that way with a lot of panache and control. That's pretty amazing. And she plays as if she has something to prove. She's the number one player in the world and she played like it on night one in Cancun. Arena Sabalenka dismantling world number nine, Maria Sakari in the process. Just on it for an hour and a quarter on court. A fantastic effort as Sabalenka cruises. Six love, six one.